ever felt like life is just a series of random events with no real purpose. Discover how Carl Jung's profound insight might hold the key to finding true meaning in a seemingly meaningless world. Life can feel confusing, like a puzzle with missing pieces. We search for meaning, for purpose, but where do we find it? Carl Jung, a famous psychologist, offers answers. He can help us understand ourselves. He can help us find our place in the world. Jung believed we all have a unique path. A path to wholeness. A path to meaning. Are you ready to find yours? Ava felt lost, stuck in a dead-end job, trapped in a routine. She felt empty, like something was missing. Then, she discovered Jung. Atta started reading his work and began to understand herself better. She realized she wasn't living her true purpose. She was living someone else's expectations. Jung's ideas gave her the courage to change. Jung believed life is neutral. It's our interpretation that gives it meaning. We choose how we see the world. We choose how we react to events. This is powerful. We have more control than we think. We can choose to see challenges as opportunities. We can choose to find meaning in our experiences. Remember, life is a journey. It's about learning and growing. It's about finding your own path. But what does this really mean in our day-to-day -day lives? Imagine waking up to a rainy day. Some might see it as a, as a gloomy, inconvenient start to their day. Others might see it as a chance to enjoy the soothing sound of rain, to cozy up with a book or to appreciate the nourishment it brings to nature. The rain itself is neutral. It's our perspective that colors it. Consider a setback at work. One person might view it as a failure, a reason to give up. Another might see it as a valuable lesson, an opportunity to improve and come back stronger. The event is the same, but the interpretations are vastly different. This choice in perspective can shape our entire experience of life. We often underestimate the power of our mindset. By consciously choosing to see the positive, to find the silver lining, we can transform our experiences. This doesn't mean ignoring the negative or pretending everything is perfect. It's about acknowledging the full spectrum of life and deciding to focus on growth and learning. Life throws many things our way, some expected, some not. We can't control everything that happens to us but we can control how we respond. This is where our true power lies. By embracing this mindset, we can navigate life's ups and downs with resilience and grace. So next time you face a challenge, pause and reflect. Ask yourself, how can I view this differently? What can I learn from this? By doing so, you empower yourself to turn any situation into a stepping stone for personal growth. Life is not just about what happens to us. It's about what we make of it. Embrace this power and you'll find that every experience, no matter how difficult, can contribute to your journey of growth and self-discovery. James struggled with anger. He felt like a victim of his past. His childhood was filled with moments that left deep scars, and he often found himself lashing out at those around him. Rachel battled with low self-esteem. She felt unworthy of love. Her days were clouded with self-doubt, and she constantly questioned her value and place in the world. Both of them discovered Jung's ideas. They learned about the shadow self, the part of us that holds our fears and insecurities. It was a revelation. They realized that these shadows were not their enemies, but parts of themselves that needed understanding and compassion. They began to see that by acknowledging these hidden aspects, they could start to heal.
they began to face their shadows. It wasn't easy. There were days filled with tears and nights of restless sleep. But slowly they started to heal their past wounds. They began to rewrite their stories. They found freedom. Freedom from the chains of their past, freedom to be their true selves. They learned to embrace their imperfections and see them as part of their unique journey. They found freedom. In this newfound freedom, James discovered a passion for helping others who struggled with anger. He became a mentor, guiding them through their own journeys of self-discovery. Rachel, on the other hand, found her calling in art. She used her creativity to express her emotions and inspire others to see the beauty within themselves. Together, they showed that rewriting one's story is not just about changing the past, but about creating a future filled with hope and possibility. We all wear masks. We present different versions of ourselves to the world. Carl Jung called this the persona. It's the face we show to fit in. But you know, hiding our true selves can lead to unhappiness. We must unmask. We must embrace our authentic selves. This is how we find true meaning. Start small. Be honest about your feelings. Express your true thoughts. Embrace your individuality. We all have a shadow side. It holds our fears, insecurities and negative traits. We often try to hide it, but it's a part of us. Jung believed we must confront our shadow. We must integrate it into our whole self. This doesn't mean acting on negative impulses. It means understanding them. When we accept our shadow, we become whole. We find peace. We are then able to live more authentically. The shadow side is not something to be feared or shunned. It is a part of our psyche that holds valuable insights into our true nature. By acknowledging its presence, we can begin to understand the root causes of our fears and insecurities. This process of self-discovery can be challenging, but it is essential for personal growth. Meditation and mindfulness practices can be powerful tools in this journey. They allow us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, creating a space for self-reflection. Through these practices, we can learn to recognize the patterns and triggers that bring our shadow side to the surface. Therapy can also be an invaluable resource. A trained therapist can guide us through the process of confronting and integrating our shadow. They can provide a safe and supportive environment where we can explore the darker aspects of our personality without fear of judgment. Educating ourselves about the shadow can also be empowering. Reading books on psychology and self-help can provide us with the knowledge and tools we need to navigate this complex aspect of our psyche. Creative expression is another way to engage with our shadow. Art, music and writing can serve as outlets for the emotions and thoughts that we may find difficult to express otherwise. By channeling our shadow into creative endeavours, we can transform it into something beautiful and meaningful. Spending time in nature can also help us connect with our shadow. The natural world has a way of grounding us and reminding us of the interconnectedness of all things. In nature, we can find the peace and clarity needed to face our inner darkness. Ultimately, befriending our dark side is about embracing all parts of ourselves. It is about recognizing that our shadow is not our enemy, but a part of our wholeness. When we accept and integrate our shadow, we become more authentic, more compassionate, and more at peace with ourselves. This journey is not easy, but it is one of the most rewarding paths we can take. So take the first step. Look within and acknowledge your shadow.
Embrace it with compassion and understanding. In doing so, you will find a deeper sense of self and a more fulfilling way of living. Remember, the journey to wholeness begins with accepting all parts of who we are. Jung believed dreams are important. They are messages from our unconscious mind. They offer insights into our deepest selves. Don't ignore your dreams. Pay attention to the symbols and emotions. Keep a dream journal. Write down your dreams as soon as you wake up. Over time, you may see patterns. These patterns can reveal your fears, desires and potential. Dreams can guide you on your journey. Have you ever experienced a meaningful coincidence? Jung called this synchronicity. It's when unrelated events seem to be meaningfully connected. These events can feel like signs, like the universe is trying to tell us something. Pay attention to these synchronicities. They might be guiding you. Don't dismiss them as mere chance. Look for the meaning. They might be leading you towards your true path. What is important to you? What do you stand for? Your values are your compass. They guide you toward a meaningful life. Take time to identify your values. What truly matters to you? Honesty, creativity, adventure. Let your values guide your decisions. When you live in alignment with your values, you feel fulfilled. You find purpose. You create a life of meaning. Journaling is a powerful tool. It helps you understand your thoughts and feelings. It's a safe space to explore your inner world. Write freely. Don't censor yourself. Write about your dreams, your fears, your hopes. Reflect on your experiences. Look for patterns. Journaling helps you connect with your unconscious. It can lead to profound insights. It can help you find your unique path to meaning. Life is a journey of self-discovery. It's about finding your own unique path. Carl Jung's insights can guide you. Remember, you have the power to create meaning. Choose to see the good. Embrace your authentic self. Follow your values. Start today. Take the first step towards creating your own meaning today. Reflect on your values. Start journaling. Or try one of our practical tips. Share your journey with us in the comments. Subscribe for more thought-provoking content. And let's explore the profound depths of our experiences together.